Hi, welcome back to another ELA video. So today we're going to be talking about characterization. So there's a couple of components that I want to talk about um, before we get into some practice. Okay, so let me minimize my video. There we go. Okay. So characterization, the people and animals in a story are the characters. So the people or the person that's in the story that's moving it is the character. An author gives you clues about what the characters are like. So think about what the writer tells you about the characters in a story and it will help you understand the story better. So some ways you can look at a character, you can look at actually what they look like. A lot of times an author is going to describe them very detailed and that's a good way of understanding who they are. So for example, if a um, character is described as being fuzzy and hyper and a lot of energy, you're kind of not thinking of a human, you're thinking of more of an animal. We don't know what animal because we didn't get a lot of details, but we can use those clues to characterize that it's probably an animal. So that's one way we can look. Another way is we can understand their feelings. A lot of times, if you, uh, the author is going to explain it as in, oh, you know, this character's sad about, you know, missing their parents, or this person is really excited because they want to race. Um, those are really great um, ways to understand a character as well. Um, so making sure we understand a character's feelings. Another way we can understand characterization is their actions, what they're actually doing in the story to propel it forward. Propel means move forward. Um, so for example, you know, if two people are fighting in the story, we can kind of get an idea that these, you know, people are aggressive or angry. Um, so their actions can actually speak for the, for them as well. And the last thing that, um, that was helping with characterization is how other people see them. So, um, Sometimes a character might describe another character, and that's a good way of us understanding of who, how that character is perceived or seen. And actually, there's one more way that I forgot about, and that's how the author, um, the, the outside person, the narrator, sees the person. Because sometimes the narrator isn't necessarily a person in the story, so it's, um, so it's sometimes it's how they perceive them as well, okay? So let's get to the next slide of our PowerPoint. If it wants to move. There we go. Okay. So here's some words that are often just, you know, used to describe a character. They might be bossy, brave, careful, friendly, hardworking, funny, helpful, honest, kind, proud, shy, wise, angry, nice, mean, neat, happy, scared. Now, these are not what you're limited to. There are so many different ways. It could be tall. It could be short. Um, it could be fast. Um, Remember, we have all those other ways to characterize. These are just um, sometimes the, the words that the author might actually use. Um, and that's not limited to that's the only thing that they use. So um, this is really great to help with characterization. So what we're going to do now is we have um, two passages and things that we're going to read. And we're going to try and figure out um, how those characters are described. Okay. So let's look at our first example. So Brandon helped his mother in the store. Okay, well this one kind of gives the answer, but that's okay. Brandon helped his mother in the store. He put boxes in, on the shelf. He didn't drop any boxes. Mr. Miller left some money at the store. Brandon followed him outside to give him the money. What words would you use to tell about Brandon? Well, for this one, we would think he's helpful, careful, honest, hardworking. Those are all really great examples of how, who he is as a person. We know he's helpful because it says it right here in the text. He helped his mother. So we know for one, he's helpful. Careful. He put them the boxes on the shelf. He didn't drop any boxes. This sentence right here tells us that he was very careful. Honest, you know, Mr. Miller left some money at the store. So the fact that he didn't keep the money is a great way to show that he was honest. He saw that he dropped the money and wanted to be um, 
he could, I mean, for this one, we could even say not just that honest, but responsible. He wanted to make sure that um, Mr. Miller got the money back. And he's also hardworking. He did a lot in this short little paragraph. Um, so these are a lot of great ways to describe Brandon. Um, we could, so this one is another example where we don't necessarily get to understand what he looks like. So that, um, we wouldn't be able to describe him using looks. Um, we can kind of describe him most as how people perceive him and, and his actions. His actions were helping his mom. Um, he didn't drop the boxes. He gave the money back. Um, those are all great, um, examples of characterization. So let's go to the next slide. So this one you're going to try. So Amy kept her library books together on a shelf. She put all her toys, her to put away all her toys carefully. Amy was very upset, neat, or mean. So I want you to take a minute, read through that again, and tell me how would you describe Amy? Go ahead and get started. Now you have about 30 seconds left. I want you to try and think of something that's not necessarily on this. How else could you describe her? About 10 seconds left. Okay, so let's reread it again and let's figure out what we want to characterize uh, Amy as. Amy kept her library books together on a shelf. She put away all her toys carefully. Amy was very, for this one, I would say that Amy was neat. Sorry, my accidentally clicked too far. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Um, so she's very neat, and this one um, is a great, um, right here, she's very neat. Um, now, I also challenged you to think of things besides neat to figure out how to describe Amy. Um, I would also say Amy was careful. You know, right here, we talk about, it says carefully, so we know that Amy's careful. Um, we know that she's responsible because she put away all her toys. Um, she likes to read. That's an action. She's a reader. Um, so there was a couple of different things we can characterize Amy with in this one. So that's a really great representation. So that's it for the first day of characterization. Tomorrow we're going to talk about um, characterization day two. Be sure to do your exit ticket after you're done with this video. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.